Hey guys, aloha, it's Katie. Regular decision deadlines are coming up. I've already been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagram asking me a lot of questions about Cornell and that's cool. I'm trying my best to get to them. Please just bump me or remind me if I forget to reply to your DM. My Instagram is alohakdx. Today, I wanted to talk about why I chose Cornell and whether I think you should apply to Cornell because honestly, I'm a sophomore right now, but I think I can tell you what I've noticed around campus and what kind of people Cornell attracts based on the one and a half years I've been here. Again, of course, this is only my opinion. If you're at Cornell watching this, I wish you guys made more videos about Cornell because I feel like I'm not representative of the 20,000 total students, including masters, here at Cornell. So we'll start with things I truly love about Cornell. What I think really sets Cornell apart from a lot of other schools is the amount of courses and majors you can take. One thing to note is that Cornell is not a liberal arts college. It is bigger. There are seven different colleges. Each of them focus on a different kind of profession. And some of them are just so niche and specific and just top of their class. For example, architecture, the number one program in the US. We also have our hotel school, which is number one in hospitality. It's basically a business program, but the application is in hospitality fields like hotels, airlines, businesses that deal with people. And I find that so cool that some people can study hotel school. So there is an emphasis at Cornell Real Estate on pre-profession. So what you study really sets you up for the career you want. For example, I know some schools will just offer biology and biology can go into many different careers after college. But at Cornell, because it's very pre-professional, we have so many different kinds of biology majors or majors that incorporate biology. We have human biology and health society, but then we also have BSOC, which is biology and society. So Cornell has three colleges that are land-grant universities. So they have a partnership with the New York State government to make education affordable to New York State residents so that they can help in the future. I think these are the Industrial and Labor Relations School, College of Agriculture, Life Sciences, and Human Ecology. So these three colleges are you know, very geared towards giving back to humanity and helping development. If you are a New York State resident, I think this is a big reason people come to Cornell. Aside from those, we also have the College of Engineering, the College of Arts and Science. It is really different because at different universities, they only have one college, like at Yale, I think it's just Yale College. I think Princeton is the same, it's just Princeton. And at Cornell, there are seven. The beauty of Cornell also, especially because I'm in Arts and Sciences, is that we are encouraged and we are allowed to take courses in all of these different colleges. I think this is perfect for people who have so many interests, people who want to explore so many different things and still aren't sure what they want to do. Especially for me, I'm in arts and sciences, so the joke is the most popular major is undeclared because we really have so many things that get us curious and interested. I came in very STEM focused, studying computer science, but through it, I got to take courses in business, in creative writing, food science, environmental science, psychology. So the food science class I'm taking right now where we make ice cream because we choose to use it as like a metaphor for the greater food production process. That's in cows or the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Next, eventually I will be taking financial accounting or finance in the hotel school. Last year I took my CS and math courses in engineering. I've taken my English courses in arts and sciences. And there are a lot of majors that Cornell is really at the top of its game for. Our CS program is known our sociology program is known, hospitality, already told you, architecture. There's just so many niche things that I think Cornell will really help you cater specifically to your interests. And I haven't even started talking about the minors because there are a lot of minors. Speaking of the classes, the classes you can actually take are really representative of the variety of courses that exist at Cornell. Some fun ones we are known for include our wines course. It's known for a lot of seniors to take it because I don't know, they're done, they're ready to graduate college and they get to taste wines in class. It's on one of New York's laws that all citizens under the age of 21 cannot drink alcohol except students taking Cornell's wine course. PE classes, this is one of my favorite things to talk about but Seriously, they're so bougie at Cornell. You can do skiing, sailing, kayaking, so many different forms of martial arts like Thai boxing, self-defense. There's even a Filipino one. There's circus skills, so many forms of dancing. There's ballroom, salsa, there's massage, bowling, fitness, your usual fitness ones. They have all the sports and you can do it either at a beginner level or intermediate or advanced level. So, oh my gosh, they have got you covered. Second thing I love is the community and I really, cannot talk about it enough because 
Cornell is actually a very supportive community. People are so humble. They're not cutthroat. It's so collaborative. The Cornell has a lot of stereotypes that it's a very depressed school, isolated school, stressful school. I will say that Cornell and most top colleges are stressful but i think a lot of students bond over that and really if you're applying to a top school like you're asking for it because you are just naturally ambitious and hardworking, and you have goals and that's okay to get stressed sometimes it's really just how you manage it that's a whole different story i'm just telling you there are 14,000 undergrads here you are bound to find someone just like you and when you do it's amazing isolated it is true that cornell is in rural new york so don't expect the city don't expect like skyscrapers here that's not how it is it's a lot of farmland lakes it's beautiful and i have come to appreciate this so much because i went to new york city it's four and a half hours away and there are a ton of buses that go there it was a perfect fall break for me to get away from ithaca but i cannot imagine staying in new york city for my entire college experience. You have everything city life has to offer you. Like I would go insane or I would not be able to focus on the things I want to and explore myself as much as I could if I was in a thriving city. I love Cornell because you know that people who come here are committed to the school. They are gonna care about you and the community because that's all there is really in Ithaca. It is a town, but it's enough to supplement your activities but keep the emphasis on your relationships. People say there's nothing to do at Cornell. I don't think that's true. There's a ton to do. Student life is so rich because there are just so many activities. Cornell really feels like it's your own place. It's really beautiful. A lot of my friends actually felt this way about Cornell. Like we came back after fall break, after going to New York City, Boston, all these places, and having a greater sense of appreciation for Cornell. Here in Ithaca, you know, you hear like birds chirping, you see like the morning dew glistening. It's very poetic. I think you can tell from this what kind of person you are. Some people want to step outside their comfort zone and come to a place like Ithaca if they have grown in the city all their life. But you know, some people really just are city people. They need to thrive on that energy. That is something you should really consider. So aside Aside from the location which cultivates a really like college-centered community, I love that the people here are just so supportive and genuine. I can't say that about other schools because I have friends who go to more highly ranked schools. It can be more tense because people are just like really doing their own thing and they just want to succeed in their own thing. But at Cornell, we feel that we can't do that alone and we are open to reach out to other people. People know that if you're coming to Cornell, you need friends because they are the ones you're going to study with. They're the ones who are going to support you and cheer you up when you're down. Also, I think people are just very invested in your success. Right now, I'm starting a project with friends called Cornell Creatives where we want to unite creators on campus. You know, photographers, videographers, designers, artists, musicians, all of them. And people have just been so down to join. They're so down to share it and promote it. People are always more than willing to connect you with people. You should know that the alumni network at Cornell is very strong. There are a lot of people at Cornell get placed into great jobs after, especially if they are really trying to get one. There are so many ways you can get the resources and the support to land very top jobs. To just talk now about reasons people don't go to Cornell and also the biggest problems I've noticed on campus. Number one is the location. I told you, some people need to be in the city. They need to be inspired. They need to go out and some people just like can't stay on campus. For me, I don't have that issue because I know this is only four years in my life. It is up to me to make the most of my college experience. Sure, I'm at a college campus, but that doesn't mean everything I do has to revolve around college. Like it's very easy for me to make videos for my YouTube channel, which are totally unrelated. Second thing is weather. Cornell gets really cold. I actually eliminated Cornell when I got accepted because I was like, I'm from the Philippines. I grew up in tropical weather my whole life. You know, I'm just not gonna survive physically. So let's exclude that from the picture. After talking to people the pros and positives of Cornell significantly outweighed the weather so it wasn't as big a deal but yeah Cornell is known to have long winters especially January to March are the colder months but before that fall is stunning spring is incredible and I also think it makes people appreciate good weather more often it's not that when it's winter it sucks it's more like we set our expectations as it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be winter, and so we're neutral, but if the sunny days come out, we are just extra appreciative. I think that's how I've coped with it at least. My last reason is stress culture. Stress culture is real. 
it's also because there's nothing to do that's not true by the way you can always find things to do but for people who haven't found those things to do yet academic easily becomes their life once the first prelim or midterm kicks in at cornell it feels like people are just swept under and it doesn't stop until the end of the year and i felt that during my freshman year it was very typical to just jump into everything and then get lost in academics and i went through it so sophomore year I totally changed how I did work. I decided not to do work on Saturdays anymore so I could recollect and take a break from everything. And it has helped me significantly with managing my extracurriculars, keeping life, staying healthy, getting enough sleep, and not getting swept into stress. Because I'm telling you, it is very easy. If you surround yourself with friends who are just in the library all day studying and are not really studying on their phones, it's gonna feel like you waste your day because you really just got sucked into technology. For that, I think you just have to be really conscious of who you are spending your time with. And sometimes I don't blame them because number one, people don't know better. And number two, it's peer pressure. Like I. I've been in both those situations. I didn't know better and the people I was hanging around with were just studying all day. So this year I definitely branched out. I took a step back. I came up with my own schedule and a system that I was happy with and then I would start adding in the socials and the extracurriculars because that way now I'm founded on a base that's so much more stable. In general, just freshmen are very eager to come to college and throw themselves into things. So it's normal. I think it's still a good process to go through because through it you will get a better understanding of your college and see what is out here but after the end of it eventually things will funnel down you will see what your priorities are and those are what you end up committing to so now i think my sophomore year is going great i'm not facing sophomore slump i'm facing sophomore swamp because i am throwing myself into a lot of things but the difference is i know what i can manage now and so the things i'm doing are very much you know what i love things i've always wanted to try so it's very easy for me to make time for it because i figured out my system i got it together and I'm just very intentional with what I do. I think that's the beauty of college. You learn a lot about yourself. People here take action about the things they care about and you can be sure that you will find someone who is frustrated at the same issues as you are, who notices these things and wants to change them. Together, you can change them. I really wish you the best on your college applications. I'm sure you will end up somewhere that's meant for you. Remember, if you get rejected from a college, just feel all the emotions, feel the disappointment, everything, but at the end, know that it wasn't a fit for you. Take rejections like that as a sign that the college doesn't think you will fit, not personally, not that you're not qualified or whatever, because come on, a lot of successful people are dropouts, are people who didn't even go to college, who didn't go to like a top Ivy League college or whatever, like take that pressure off yourself. You can succeed wherever you wanna go. They will be so lucky to have you. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I make new videos every week follow me on social media at aloha katie x and i will see you in less than a week with another video bye guys